Our second speaker for the Clark Prize is Lily Harai, whose speech is titled, Hello, My Name Is. So what's in a name? It is a personal identification of sorts, but it is more accurately a reflection of choices, the choices of the people around you, and of course, your own. So let's start with other people's choices, the ones that led to my name, but that I had no say in. My name is Elizabeth Harrington Harai, but I go by Lily. Lily is what I write on my Hello My Name Is sticker, and when I'm asked for the spelling, it is with one L. Spelling itself is a choice. I spell Lily, L-I-L-Y. This spelling is how my parents chose to assign letters to the sound of Lily. And then there are the choices that went into my legal name. My parents chose to name me Elizabeth after my grandmother, but they've also chosen to call me Lily since I was born. They told me, we love the name Lily, but we also love the name Elizabeth because of your grandmother. It was hard to choose. So I guess they chose both. And as a consequence, on the first day of class roll calls, my name Elizabeth Harai is read, and I immediately respond, I go by Lily. It's a reflex at this point. And if we get into what certain people choose to call me, I'm also Lil to my close friends and family, and Lily Elizabeth to my bosses at the Mail Center. I smile at their choices of nicknames. Nicknames are by Oxford Dictionary definition, a familiar name given to a person or thing instead of, or as well as, their real name. My nickname, Lily Elizabeth, came about because my supervisors at the Mail Center didn't know my legal name. On my first week on the job, I had to fill out a work order form through the school to set up my payroll. I signed my name, Elizabeth Harai, and put it on my boss's desk. On my next shift, my bosses were laughing. They kept saying, Lily, I didn't know that you were an Elizabeth. And we were all trying to figure out who this Elizabeth person was. They had only known me as Lily, and they didn't know my legal first name. It led to the silly nickname, Lily Elizabeth, which is, by the way, the only way they refer to me now. Hello, Lily Elizabeth. How's it going, Lily Elizabeth? And so on. When they say it, it sounds warm and wholesome and intimate. It sounds like me. So why then does Elizabeth Harai still sound strange to me when it's read aloud during my doctor's appointments or during class roll call? It is because my name is not my identity. To me and to most people around me, sure, I'm Lily. But an identity is much more complex than a name label. When you think about it, names are chosen and assigned in anticipation of one's identity. But my given name did not determine anything about my identity today. It was instead a convention chosen and assigned to me. There was a time in my life where I felt so detached from my legal name, Elizabeth, and I wanted to get rid of it for good. I wanted to finally feel like my name matched me and not just my grandmother. So in sixth grade, I asked my parents if I could legally change my name from Elizabeth to Lily. At the time, my main motivation was that I didn't want to feel awkward anymore having to correct my teachers during those pivotal first day of school roll calls. I was a shy kid. My mom's reply was, when you're older, of course, honey. My dad's reply was a little more jarring. He told me, when your grandmother dies. I'm sure that's not what you're expecting a dad to say to their 12-year-old daughter. But it complicated my idea of names being choices. And I began to wonder, is my grandmother in my name? There is some truth in the fact that I have the ability to carry on that family name, a power in that legal signature that commemorates my grandmother. But I know now that that is up to me, my choice. So I decided that my grandmother is not in my name. And if I ever do decide to change it, it will affect me alone. I was discussing my name crisis with a friend the other day. He goes by his middle name. 
I wanted to know if other people find their identities confused when they don't go by their legal first name. So I asked him, do you ever wish your name was just your name? To which he replied, no. I think it's kind of cool to have a mysterious first name. It keeps people guessing. He also said, I can always choose to go by my first name in the future if I want. It sounds more professional. Once again, the idea of choice came up in this conversation. It's no coincidence. But for me, instead of going by my middle name like my friend does, I go by my alternate name of Lily. And I guess I could choose to switch by between my two names if I want. Maybe Elizabeth or I will sound more professional in my future. Who's to say? <laughs> so what is in Elizabeth Harrington Harai? Let's break it down. Well, Elizabeth, as I said, is from my grandmother, and it was my parents' choice to commemorate her. Harrington was my mother's maiden name, and it was a sacrifice she gave when she got married. Harai is my father's family name, and it is a reminder of my Japanese heritage. When I break down each part, I feel the love for my grandmother, the sacrifice of my mother's maiden name, and the marker of my father's family lineage. So we'll ask again, what's in a name? And I land on the same conclusion, choice. It was my family's choice to name me Lily, but, or Elizabeth, but to only call me by Lily. It was the many choices of my ancestors to pass along their family name. And it was the many, many choices by the many women in my family to give up their maiden names. All of these choices are just a fraction of the ones that go into my name, or I guess my names. And since I started by talking about my names, I'll end with the choices that I can make with my name today. I choose to write Lily on top of my homework assignments. I choose to correct my professors on the first day of class and tell them my preferred name. And I've chosen not to change my name. So much for that sixth grade ambition. So I stand before you today as Lily and Elizabeth Harrington Harai. And I'm reminded that what is in a name is a part of who you are, but it does not define who you are. Names are nothing without the choices that make them. Thank you.